More Inside Baseball on Brian Colangelo. And this is going back to his days when he was in Toronto, before Masai Ujiri, before We the North, before all of it. That was a hashtag. Before all of it. And this is, this is adding a new wrinkle. And on top of that, what I want you to react to is how weird it is that he is tuning in to what I'm about to tell you. So this is via the Toronto Sun. A number of years ago, one uh, Raptors reporter, I was asked to do an online Q&A for one of our websites. I reluctantly agreed, knowing at the time we weren't going to get a lot of clicks. I think by the time we got going, 50 or so people were online. I got asked a lot of questions about the Leafs. We were coming to the end of the chat, and a question came in about Brian Colangelo. I answered it honestly and described one of the ways in which Colangelo communicated as Bethelgab. <laughs> I finished the chat, went back to my desk, and a text message was waiting for me. Actually, three, all from Colangelo, all taking offense to my use of the term baffle gab. And the messages pointing out all the great things he had done at the time with the Raptors. My message back to him, something along the lines of, why were you even tuning into a small chat of so little significance? What followed were more messages. I make this point to try to best explain Colangelo's paranoia. What he did with me, he did with many of my colleagues. It's why I happen to believe a lot of the story about him operating Twitter accounts and other names, five burner accounts that The Ringer put out last week. I have seen how he reacts badly to the least bit of criticism. I suspect his time in Philly is over. Colangelo always seemed to have a way of getting in his own way. His Philadelphia story. And that's from a reporter from the Sun. From Toronto. Yeah. Yes. As you are reading this, my own opinion, and I want to get yours, is considering that this was a very small chat, some guys are driven by hearing the criticism, even in those small chats, mm -hmm. to a large window like ESPN. I'm just surprised as a GM that you're not thinking about scouting recruiting other guys, doing so many other things instead of watching a Periscope with 10 people. Well, there's the thing. So there's certain guys, it's just their personality. Look, we, we know the other famous folks that have been busted for burning Kevin Durant. Cats. Kevin Durant. He's a sensitive dude. He doesn't like anybody talking anything about him. We didn't even talk about, it wasn't even, I was on that video, but we were part of it. TYT Sports, when Ben and Jake were just it was so wrong. Effing around, I have right? told, I have said this many times, and just allow me for just two seconds. What they said was wrong. Mm -hmm. It was ill-informed. They didn't read up on anything. I do not stand by anything that they said in that video. It was hogwash. It was bullshit. I was pissed about it. I like that he tweeted, like, who are these clowns at TYT Sports? Awesome. But what they did was flat out wrong. So, continue. Hey, let's just keep it real. I was there and said that. So, um... <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, you know, sometimes there's a there's a guy that's watching, and he doesn't just sit back and let this BS happen. Right. Yeah. That was this guy. Anyway, um, so even but the fact that he noticed what they said in that small little thing is just what it was. So he he's the kind of guy who will notice everything. That's why you have to have burner counts. You can notice everything mm -hmm. and then respond accordingly. No one's let just simmer in your stomach. Colangelo is the same type of guy. There's just there's certain characteristics of some guys that are just like that. So to be surprised that he's doing it, don't be surprised anymore. That's who he is. He can't take it. As as I wish I had his name from the Toronto Sun, who t spoke about this. He said that's just that's. He was surprised that he doesn't have anything else to do. A maybe he does have other things to do, or maybe he finished his work and he's Steve looking Simmons. what everyone else. Steve Simmons. Maybe maybe he's looking what everyone else is saying about him. He's worried about that. That's who he is. So. Accepted now. We know. We know who he is. We know who Kevin Durant is now. He went to the team that beat him. Hey, we've accepted it. Move on. We have accepted it. Know who but you're dealing with and deal with them accordingly. I'm not saying accept it necessarily, but like now we know who he is. I guess my question is, if you are the GM of an NBA team and you are going after people like Steve Simmons or like any random people on Twitter that are tweeting about your team, yeah, where is the professionalism? Yeah. That's where, the where you are up here, and us peasants are so far down. Like, first off, we live in a day and age where all you have to do to get famous is call out someone who is ridiculously famous and have them call you back out. <laughs> That's what a lot of people want to do. That's it. 
What I don't understand is when you are at that level up here, why you result to calling out the peasant who called you out. Like that's what Colangelo is doing. That's the characteristic. These, something happens, it's a character some, something is about flaw. flaw. Sure, yeah. It's something about them that they can't let go. We have, people say plenty of stuff about us. I'd never really see it. I don't have time. So, but then if you do, if it happens to strike you for some reason, you're like, there, there's, there's, there's some kind of gene in some people's bodies that lets them go. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. And others can't. Like let Pete it Davidson, go. SNL. Like, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, sure, yeah, okay, you can say that about my mom, okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> I mean, some, you, that, that's what you have to learn. And I've spoken to people within the network here. When they get upset about what people are saying on Twitter, or, oh, they, you see what they said on YouTube? I was like, you can't worry about that. No. You absolutely no. can't worry about that, because once you do, you won't be doing your job anymore. By the way, what would be amazing is having Brian Colangelo read mean tweets. <laughs> <laughs> um. The main thing I got from this was baffle gab. I will use it. Oh yes, it's in, it's in the vocabulary. Should now. be the name of a show. <laughs> Get a name of it. You know who should make the first appearance? Brian Clint. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in the comment section below. Subscribe to Two Ideas.